Well, some bugs that we consider pests are actually more important to the ecosystem than you might think. Yeah, our next guests are educating people right here in Connecticut how to conserve them for our great state. Welcome UConn Senior Extension Educator Donna Ellis along with Assistant Extension Professor Anna Legrand. Welcome Thank here you. to CT Style. Thank you. Thank so, you. So we have some photos of some of these insects, some that we might consider pests. Let's take a look and, and see what we're looking at. Ladybugs. Ladybugs, yes. Yeah. Great insect to have around. Uh, they really provide a lot of the natural control that we can expect in our gardens. Uh, they help us with the management of aphids and soft body insects, so wonderful to have. We want ladybugs. Yes. Okay. Next up. There you see actually some peony plants. Uh, we are doing a lot of research at Yukon uh, with these plants because in particularly they attract parasitoids that attack white grubs and we really want to do as much as we can with the natural control of white grubs, uh -huh. which as you know they are a significant pest in, in turf grasses. Okay, next up, let's see. There you have it. Those, um, those are peonies that are uh, just before the flower opens. They ex exude uh, nectar, ex extrafloral nectar, and you can see actually tifia parasitoids coming to the bud and feeding on the nectar of that uh, bud before the flower opens. And it's just at that particular time that we see that. And we have one final insect here. Oh, green lacewings, <laughs> great <laughs> insect too. Uh, a lot of people miss them because they come out at, at night, mm -hmm. uh, that light attracts them. But when you get to see them during the day, uh, do not be alarmed, they're not a pest, they're predators, they uh, feed on other insects and they're very helpful oh, for good. us. They're good All guys. Right. Yes. Yeah, they're good guys. And actually, that's another good guy. Uh, a lot of people uh, get a little concerned because it's uh, the colors and the patterns make you think that there may be a bee a or bee. a wasp. But it's, right. but it's a fly, actually. Oh. If you look at the number of wings, uh, one uh, pair of wings, and it's a predatory fly. Uh, the adult that you see in there does not feed on other insects, but it's the larvae or the juvenile stage that mm. does. Wow, I never thought that. Yeah. Well, all right, so we know the bugs we need. How do we get the bugs there? You can bring the good bugs to your garden by having an assortment of plants. Okay. And the key this year is to have lots of flowers all summer long, all season long. Uh, you can start with annuals. We have brought a few annuals that are very attractive to pollinating insects, such as butterflies. Mm -hmm. um, we have some verbena, and all of our plants are uh, courtesy of Garden Barn, Nursery and Landscape this nice. morning in Vernon. I uh, have some beautiful verbena, and this is Probably what awesome. you're smelling here yeah. is sweet alyssum. It's a very nice smell. Ooh, and that pretty. actually attracts I'm those summer. Yeah. 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 was a great saw the picture of. Um, but the flowers are very attractive to butterflies that have oh. a kind of a straw like. How about these? Would these help attract? Uh, <laughs> oh, sure. The more color, the better. <laughs> Some of these uh, flowers. Yeah, these are the herbs, right? Or yes, no? these okay. are herbs. Um, herbs are great for us to use in the kitchen and for culinary purposes, but they're also good as larval foods. As butterflies and moths are developing, mm -hmm. they need leaves and they need plants to, to l grow on. So if you have things like um, fennel and parsley sure. and dill, like fennel. they not only smell good and they taste yeah. good, but, th but you'll find swallowtail, um, butterfly caterpillars on them during the season. Wow. So don't, don't worry about them. It's okay. You can share, you know, share some with the insects and share some uh, in the kitchen. Yourself, right? mm -hmm. A little bit for everybody. Uh, in addition to our annuals and herbs, we have all sorts of perennials. And it, another thing to think about are having at least some native plants in your garden because native plants will attract native, native wildlife, animals. birds, all of the insects, and some of the beneficial insects as well. Um, some of these perennials that we have, uh, like astilbes and tiarella or foam flower, we have columbines, lupins. Some of these are just starting to bud and to bloom, but they'll give you a lot of spring and then summer color. And then you can also add some fall f flowering plants like mm. asters and goldenrods. Fantastic. Yeah. And, and what's on the end? Yeah, yeah. This one is uh, the peony. Oh, uh, the, the, one, the plant that's that I'm telling you. <laughs> it's a great flower. Yeah. I love it when it's in bloom. I, that's why I love this research because at the end you get to see these beautiful, All the beautiful flowers. flowers. And, uh, you can actually see right here the bulb. This is at the stage where it produces this extra floral nectar. You may see a little drop there. Yes. And this is a, a important substance for these beneficial insects. It provides carbohydrates for them and they come to feed on it. Uh, provides uh, many nutrients nutritional resources that increases their survival and their fecundity. Wow. So the tifia parasitoids come there, they feed on that, and then they help us with the white grub management. You know, as you uh, help uh, them stay alive longer or yeah. be more fecund. Really Fantastic. interesting stuff, Ladies, guys. Thank, thank you. you so much mm -hmm. for all the information. I'm going to try my garden again this weekend. Yeah. 